Shalom. This week we are reading Parshat Ekev, which begins in Sefer Devarim, Deuteronomy chapter 7 and verse 12. You know, we have two commandments regarding our relationship with God. We are commanded to both love Him and fear Him. And these two commandments depend upon thought. In other words, they can actually be fulfilled in the mind at any time. These are examples of commandments that can be fulfilled when one is idle, when one just has some free time just by apparently thinking about the fact that we love Hashem, that we fear Hashem, we are fulfilling the commandments. But actually the main observance of these two commandments is, for example, when we refrain from sinning because of fear of God and Likewise, when we observe His commandments with enthusiasm, with all our might at all costs, because of love of God. Last week, it's interesting that in Parshat Ve'etchanan, we have the Shema Yisrael in Deuteronomy 6. And there, of course, we have the verse, You shall love Hashem your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your might. And there we find the commandment of loving Hashem. And the philosophers ask a question. Ancient philosophers, it's recorded in the works of our sages, the debates. Philosophers posed a question to the sages of Israel, how is it possible that the Torah commands something which is dependent upon a person's heart, dependent upon a person's emotion? Can God command us how to feel? How is it possible that the Torah indeed commands us, and you shall love Hashem your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind. Here's the question that they posed. How could the Torah possibly kind of foist upon a person an obligation to feel a certain way? And really, in a nutshell, the answer is that it isn't as if the Torah is commanding something unnatural, telling us how to feel, because really the love that every Jew feels for God is is part of us. It's part of the innate essence of who we are. It's very close to the surface. Now, this week in Parshat Ekev, we read in chapter 10 and verse 12, we read of the commandment of fear, fearing God. Now, Israel, what does Hashem your God ask of you? Only to fear Hashem your God and go in all His ways and to love Him and to serve Hashem your God with all your heart and with all your soul to observe the commandments of Hashem and His decrees, which I command you this day for your benefit. So here we also find love is mentioned, and we also find the concept of serving Hashem with all the heart and soul. And of course, Shema in Deuteronomy 6 didn't mention the aspect of fear, only the aspect of love. And so we talk a lot about these two concepts. They seem to be twin ideas. They seem to go hand in hand. We have to love Hashem and we also have to fear Him. What really, though, is the relationship between love and fear of Hashem? And so the idea really is that when a person considers all that God does for us and the fact that He constantly watches us and the fact that He constantly has us in His care and sustains us, we feel obliged to love God just as we would feel obliged to love any benefactor, really. We're also taught that we should love and praise God for every breath that we take. But this is not really the highest level of love. Because if it's really dependent only on the good that God does for us and that we receive, then a person might abandon that love if things go bad, at least according to our perception. The truth is really that the more a person understands God and understands his true greatness, the more he is brought to a level of love of loving Him for what He is, and for no other reason. And this is really, in general, our definition of true love. It means there's no one else in the world for me like you. You are totally unique to me, and we are totally unique to each other. This is really how we always define love. But we're also commanded to fear Hashem. And although one serves God, really, most perfectly out of love, this concept of fear is also essential to our spiritual life. Indeed, one of our great sages stated that love and fear are our two spiritual wings. And just as a bird cannot fly without, with only one wing, so also a person cannot serve God with love alone. But, in, in fact, it's fear more than anything else that really prevents a person from sinning. 
But just as we define love as loving him for what he is and not for what he does, so also the truest and the purest fear of Hashem is not the fear of punishment, but rather the awe of his unlimited greatness. And really, this tremendous feeling of being overwhelmed in his presence and the idea of not wanting to disappoint him. And that is really fear of God. True fear, in this case, really means person realizes on the deepest level, you know, you never let me down, and so I too want to make sure that I never let you down.